everyone. This conference will now be recorded. Today, you're in for an excellent treat. Not only do we have the Japan National Tourism Organization, who obviously are the experts on Japan, we also have Bailey in, with Travel Central, who will be sharing a great opportunity to travel this fall, uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, next fall in October of 2022 to Japan. So with that, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Travel Central. Okay. Thank you. So basically, Travel Central has been in business. We're in the New Orleans area. We've been in business since 1988. We've been helping travelers uh, explore the world. And our only goal is to use our expertise, resources, and knowledge from the planning process to your return home. We have one advisor who will be dedicated to your vacation, who will answer questions, customize your vacation with vetted and insured suppliers, monitor price, schedule changes, and provide you with valuable information on your vacation. Not only will you have, not only will the experience you have in your vacation be enhanced, but the planning process will be a lot less stressful. A couple of uh, housekeeping items. We do ask everyone to please stay on mute throughout the entire presentation so that you don't interrupt the presentation in the middle. And the next thing we ask is that if you have questions, which we love questions, please put them in the chat box. We'll either, I'll either answer them directly to you for the answers we know, or we'll answer them at the end of the presentation. So again, thank you for joining us. And now I'm going to turn it over to the Japan National Tourism Organization and sorry. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Saori Toshima, and I am an admin and marketing assistant at the Japan National Tourism Organization. We also have Yoko Scott, who is our regional promotion director, and Shoban Amos, who is our marketing coordinator, to help answer questions at the end of the session. I'll be talking about Japan 101 and the Golden Route, which is a route recommended for first-time travelers to Japan. Condé Nast Traveler just a few days ago announced their Reader's Choice Awards for 2021 Best Big Cities. And Japan made a top three. We'll take a closer look at each of these cities later on with the Golden Route. Japan has four beautiful seasons. Any season would be a great time to visit Japan. In the spring, for example, you can enjoy Hanami, or picnic under cherry blossoms. And in the summer, Japan has many festivals with spectacular fireworks. And in the fall, you can enjoy watching colorful leaves. Also, autumn is known as a season for food and dining as many fresh crops are harvested. And in the winter, you can enjoy dipping in onsen and enjoy playing various winter sports. Golden Route is a recommended route for first-time travelers to Japan. This route runs from Tokyo to Osaka with a few stops in between. The itinerary takes typically about one hour or so to complete. This route will take you through modern cities, historic sites, scenic area, and much more. Our first stop is Tokyo. Shibuya Sky is Tokyo's new landmark that was built in 2019. You can enjoy 360 degree view from rooftop of Shibuya Scramble Square. Tokyo offers both traditional and modern Japan. Sensoji Temple is the oldest Buddhist temple in Tokyo built in the 7th century. And there's a street offering local snacks and tourist souvenirs. Tokyo also offers modern architectures. Tokyo Skytree is one great example, and it is the world's highest freestanding communication tower. I visited Tokyo Skytree in the year it opened in 2012, and I want to say that the panoramic view of central Tokyo and Mount Fuji was just simply gorgeous. Tokyo Station is one of the largest stations in Japan featuring European influence design. Its underground shopping center is massive with 180 shops ranging from food to fashion. 
A short walk from Tokyo Station is the Imperial Palace, which is home to the Emperor of Japan and his family. For those of you who are interested, East Garden is open to public, so you can check out that part of the palace area. Koishikawa Korakuen Garden is one of Tokyo's oldest Japanese gardens built in early Edo period. Its landscape is beautiful all year round, whether it's spring with cherry blossoms or fall with the changing leaves. Yokohama and Kamakura are both recommended destinations as day trips from Tokyo since it's easily accessible by trains. Yokohama is the largest port city around Greater Tokyo area, and it is also the second largest city in Japan after Tokyo. Many cruises are based in Yokohama, so it's a good city to explore before and after the cruise. Minato Mirai is a popular modern neighborhood offering a lot of shopping and restaurant options. And for ramen fans, we suggest visiting Ramen Museum. In here, you can learn about the history of ramen and also purchase a meal and eat in the 1950s theme food court when instant noodles were first invented. Kamakura is about 60 minutes from Tokyo by train. It offers numerous temples, shrines, and not to mention beautiful hydrangea during the rainy season. And in fact, I've been to Kamakura in July when the hydrangea flowers were full bloom, and this experience made my temple and shrine tour even more special. Amida Buddha, which is the largest outdoor bronze Buddha statue in Japan, is on the left-hand side. You can choose to pay a small fee and visit the interior of Buddha. Zenyarai Benten is another famous temple in Kamakura area. Zenyarai means coin washing in Japanese. Many people come here to wash their coin to increase their wealth. If you have some extra time, you can get a ride on Enoden train to enjoy the coastal views around Kamakura. And Enoden is famous for its retro looks and beautiful views of seaside that it offers. Our next stop is Hakone and Mount Fuji. And here is a picture of Mount Fuji. In this area, uh, you can pick from many unique transit options to be enjoy the beautiful nature. Oakunani Ropeway on a sunny day will give you a nice view from the top, including Mount Fuji and Lake Ashi. And Hakone Tozan Railway is another transit. It is the oldest mountain railway in Japan, and the train runs through densely wooded valley over bridges and tunnels. And in this area, you can enjoy plenty of outdoor activities, ranging from hiking, horseback riding, to kayaking. But what makes Hakone special is its natural hot springs. There are many types of hot springs you can enjoy, including bathhouse and private hot springs at Ryokan, which is known as a Japanese-style inn. Many Ryokan opens their bath to not only guests, but to visitors as well. So you can enjoy onsen on a day trip. Ashiyu is the foot bath, and there are a lot of cafes and restaurants that offer Ashiyu around Hakone area. Our next stop is Kyoto, and it is the cultural and historical heart of the country. Fushimi Inari is a popular attraction in Kyoto, and it's known as a shrine with thousands of red tori gates. These tori gates that you see are donated by many businesses that wish for their prosperity. How it started is about 1300 years ago, People started gathering here to pray for good harvest, business prosperity, and the safety of family. Ryako, which are white fox, are the messengers of agriculture god, and you can see many Ryako statues around Fushimi Inari. The trail hike will take about two hours, 
and you can see many small shrines on the way. Arashiyama Bamboo is another popular attraction. There are a lot of kimono rental shops so that you can put on your favorite kimono and take a stroll around the bamboo forest. If you're looking for something local, Rickshaw can take you on a wonderful guided tour. Gion is Kyoto's geisha in Maiko district. There are a lot of traditional old buildings with lanterns, tea houses, and Zen gardens. At Maikoya, you can enjoy tea ceremony hosted by a Kyoto geisha or their apprentice Maiko for some cultural experience. Osaka is about 15 minutes by bullet train from Kyoto. And Osaka is known for its nightlife, delicious food, and friendly locals. Just like Tokyo, Osaka also offers traditional and modern Japan. Osaka has a Osaka castle, and from the deck, it offers gorgeous panoramic views of Osaka Castle Park. And Umeda Sky Building is the city's new city's landmark building. The two towers are connected on the 39th floor, and inside are the restaurants, museums, and cinemas. Dotonbori is another place you cannot miss. There are bright neon signs and bars and restaurants, so the best time to visit would be in the evening. When I went to Osaka with my family, we went to Kanidoraku, which is a popular crab restaurant. And of course, the food was delicious. But what made it more exciting was the livelihood that I felt in this area. When you're in Dotonbori, don't forget to try the local specialties, which are okonomiyaki, savory pancake, takoyaki, puffy balls with stuffed octopus, and kushikatsu, fried pork and vegetables on skewers. Both Nara and Kobe are perfect destinations for day trips from Kyoto and Osaka, as they're less than one hour by train. Nara is the ancient capital of Japan before Kyoto, and Nara has eight UNESCO heritage sites. The city is full of historic treasures as they have some of the oldest and largest temples. Todaiji houses Japan's largest bronze Buddha. And at the Nara Park, there are over 1,000 free roaming deer. These deer have been coexisting with humans for centuries and they're believed to be the sacred messenger of the god. If you're interested, you can purchase deer crackers at the park and interact with the animals. Another great addition to the Golden Route itinerary is Kobe. Kobe is a major port city, and its compact size make it a perfect day trip destination. The must try food here is Kobe beef, and you can enjoy it as a steak, shabu shabu, or teppanyaki grill. Akashi Kaikyo Bridge is the longest suspension bridge in the world, which is about 2.5 miles long. And there's a guided tour available for those who are interested in getting more information about its history and technology. The tour concludes with a wonderful panoramic view from the main tower, which is equivalent to the 98th floor. Lastly, we highly recommend adding Hiroshima to your itinerary if you have more time to explore. It takes about one and a half hours by bullet train from Osaka. One of the popular destinations is Miyajima with its famous floating Tori Gate and Itsukushima Shrine. While the floating gate look majestic, did you know that you can walk out to the Tori Gate during the low tide? When I visited Miyajima with a friend, we spent a whole day at the Miyajima Island exploring the pagoda, walking through handcrafted shops, and taking the ropeway up to the summit. And we were able to see both ties and the magical transformation of Tori Gate. Now I will be going over general information about Japan. 
As briefly mentioned earlier, Japan has many cruise gateways. There are more than 30 total ports in Japan. Further information on Japan Cruise can be found on the link on this slide. Japan is known to have an excellent public transportation. Whether there are buses, trains, or subways, the networks are efficient and they're very punctual. For those of you who like to travel like a local, there are what's called IC cards, such as the PASMO or Suica in Tokyo. They work similar to local metro cards, such as top cars in Los Angeles or oyster cars in London. Basically, you load money onto the card, then all you need to do is tap in and out at the station gates. Shinkansen is Japan's high-speed railway. And as seen on this map, Shinkansen runs through most parts of Japan. And there are three types of classes which are ordinary, green, and ground class. Ground class is sort of like the first class, and all three types will guarantee you the peaceful and comfortable ride, but ground will offer a luxurious experience of warm hospitality along with the seasonal bento box. The Japan Rail Pass or the JR Pass offers a great deal for international passport holders traveling across Japan. With a 7-day, 14-day, and 21-day passes available, travelers have the access to most JR-operated modes of transport, including bullet trains, limited express trains, buses, and even a ferry to Miyajima. When visiting Japan, we also recommend renting pocket Wi-Fi. They can be easily picked up and dropped off at major airports. Free Wi-Fi is also available in Japan, but please note that the speed may vary depending on how many people are trying to use it. Japan has a very low crime rate. Koban is a Japanese police station, but it does more than just dealing with the crime. Koban acts as a lost and found, and they can also give you information and directions. So when you're in Japan and is in need of direction, please do not hesitate to go in and ask. Japan has its own currency, yen. Prior to traveling, you can exchange your money at local US banks. And after the arrival, you can exchange your money at Japan ATMs such as 7-Eleven or post office. Japan is still a cash-based country. Although most shops will take credit cards, some shops may not if you go outside of major cities and etc. So uh, please also remember that Japan has no tipping culture. Leaving some change at the cafe might make staff chase you down to return your change. Japan has more than just ramen and sushi. You may be surprised to learn that Tokyo has the greatest number of Michelin star restaurants in the world. With 464 Michelin star restaurants offering various types of cuisines, Tokyo even beats out Paris. On the contrary to fancy restaurants, Japanese convenience stores or konbini are also very well favored by Japanese people. Unlike our American convenience stores, those in Japan offer fresh foods and hot meals, including various bento box, fried chicken, oden, and many more. Lastly, Japan offers many types of accommodations, such as Western-style hotel and ryokan, which are Japanese inn. Some ryokan will have an outdoor hot springs for you to relax and enjoy the nature. And for more local experience, you can try Minshuku, which is typically family owned, and you can interact with the locals and experience traditional Japanese lifestyle. Before I end this presentation, I want to show you a short video of Japan.
Sorry about the technical difficulties. Uh, this same video can be found on YouTube. Thank you, Sarah Reed. That was fabulous information on Japan and the things to do, and especially the tips on when you get there, what you should know. Now we're going to turn it over, uh, and there's some information about the Japan National Tourism Organizations that can help you with just basic information on Japan and all the tips that were given today. And so now what we're going to do is turn it over to Bailey, and Bailey is going to talk a little bit about an incredible offer that we have for fall of 2022. It truly is a, a great deal. So with that, I'm, I'm Bailey, to turn it over to you. Hi, all. This is a fantastic itinerary to visit Japan. As you can see, it's an island. So what a better way to see an island than to sail around it and visit the major ports. Also, Japan is an expensive country and can be difficult to navigate on your own. So again, taking a cr cruise is a fantastic way to get around and see as much as possible. Also, great thing about cruising, it's basically a floating hotel, so you'll only have to unpack once, which is fantastic, as well as the value of the cruise is great. Um, you can't see Japan by land as cheap as you are going to be able to see it by cruise. And then another great thing is um, Celebrity is having a brand new recently renovated ship that's going to be visiting with a bunch of great things to do on board. So for a couple of relaxing days, you'll get to take advantage of all these great amenities, um, such as great accommodations, award-winning food on board, and wellness and entertainment programs as well. Also, another fantastic thing is everything's included on top of food, transportation, getting around in your room. All your tips are included. Your Wi-Fi on board is included. And our favorite thing, drinks are included, including wine, spirits, beer, and beverages as well. So you can add more inclusions if you'd like, but the base inclusions are those tips, Wi-Fi, and drink packages. And then just like we mentioned, the ships have been recently renovated. As you can see, they are very modern, streamlined, lots of room, and then beautiful bathrooms with lots of room for you as well. And they have a variety of accommodations with just regular cabins up to concierge levels with special benefits, spa rooms with special benefits and spa amenities. And then we've got some fantastic suites on board as well. And like we talked about, everything has been renovated. As you can see on the left, this is the old design. And then on the right, we've got the new ship design and venues that you'll get to take advantage of on our relaxing days and when we're sailing as well. So beautiful ship, beautiful amenities on board. And then these are just some lounges and hangout spaces. If you're missing land and grass, the celebrity ship actually does have a real grass area on top of the deck that you can enjoy and we've got cabanas that you can rent to hang out with friends and enjoy your time on the ship as well and look at how beautiful these lounges are to make friends enjoy a drink and relax and like we talked about we have what's called the retreat which is our area that our suites benefits will get our suites guests will get to enjoy so things such as special spa area lounge area and specialty dining on board available for people that are looking for that extra step of luxury and enjoyment for their trip. So this is available on our ship that we're going to be using to sail Japan as well. So beautiful. And then this is me. Nice to meet y'all. Um, I'm the agent that's hosting this vacation and also who you'd want to contact if you'd like to visit and do this trip with us to Japan. We're also doing three nights in Tokyo that includes staying at the Godzilla Hotel and daily touring and transfers to the ship as well. So really a great way to experience Japan and to not go by yourself if that makes you nervous. So please reach out. And then here's the details for the cruise itself and the inclusions on top of that always included package and getting to enjoy such a great ship. We also get a special group rate that's highly discounted. So we're looking at 2,500 per person for 13 nights. And that includes, like we talked about, your accommodations, transfers between ports, 
drinks, tips, and Wi-Fi on board, and fifty dollars of onboard credit, plus an extra benefit of chocolate covered strawberries and champagne for each of your staterooms. So this really is a great value. Like you cannot see Japan this less expensive, um, great rate. And the only way that so you have to hold your room is a nine hundred dollar per stateroom refundable deposit. And again, that's refundable until June thirtieth of next year. So if you want to get your spot held and you want to be part of this. Just give us a call. There's no risk in it. Thank you, Bailey. And thank you everyone for joining us. This is Armanda. We do have a team of, of professionals who have been, most of them on average have been in the business for about 20 years. And as the travel has changed over the last year, we do have the access to all the resources and information to make sure that when you travel in the, in the current environment, you have all the documentation and things that you would need to travel with. Um, and finally, we do have, if anyone is in the New Orleans area, we are having a live event, a vacation expo on October 26th. It's in the New Orleans area and we welcome, we have a group of 14 suppliers who will be there to share all the different things they're going to be doing in 21 and 22. So if anyone has any questions, you can put them in the chat box. If not, we want to tell you thank you for joining us. We have recorded this and we will send out an email first thing tomorrow morning with the recording and some of the information that we provided today on that exclusive journey. I don't see anyone in the chat, so I'm going to thank everyone again. I appreciate y'all coming by. We look forward to hearing from you and sending and getting you on a vacation to Japan. If that cruise that we showed you was not the time or the way you want to see Japan, no worries. We can sell Japan, whether it's by land or by cruise or by rail. We're happy to help you. So thank you for coming.